All right, so I am finally working on my portfolio website because some of you have noticed that uh, my website uh, keeps being updated with the uh, next date to be launched. And yeah, so I'm aiming for the end of the month for the launch of the new website. But in the meantime, obviously, I'm experimenting with a lot of GSAP and obviously I want to make it super cool. So I have something very, very interesting for you. So imagine this, you have lo the logo, if it's typeface, you have it on the entirety of the hero section. And that's the only thing that you have. And as you scroll, of course, the logo shrinks and it reaches the top of the page where it lands and it stays fixed on the middle of the top section. So I think that is pretty cool and especially coupled with Lenny's smooth, smooth scroll. I think it's an amazing, amazing effect. So if you want to copy this effect and do the same thing I did for my, or I will do, do for my website, then by all means, let's get started then. All right, so what we are going to be doing this time, I'm not going to start from scratch because I already have this page set up. So let's jump right in, okay? And I'm going to explain everything that I have added for the logo to work, okay? So first of all, there is a container and this container has a width of 100%. I have not tested it in different formats, just so you know. This is the format that works for me and that's all I can um, comment on. So if you want to, to go further and do other things with the container, then by all means, but keep in mind that the effect might not work as intended. All right, let's go to styling. And as you can see, I have um, set the color to um, the background. Again, this is a set, this, this color is set in my uh, global settings. And other than that, pretty much that's it, nothing else, all right? So I have added my site logo, which is basically the widget. And I'm explaining these things for the people who maybe are newer to Elementor they don't, and they don't know. So let's, let's lo look for the logo. So this is the, the widget I'm talking about. And you just drag it in the container that I was talking about. All right. So now let's go to the logo because the logo has specific settings in the style. Let's go first to the content and you can see that this is where you change your logo. Of course, the style of your logo, mainly the width and the height, depends very much on the type of font that you have used. How big is your logo initially? Uh, if I go in content and if I go to change logo and let's go to see uh, my logo. So this is the size of my logo not very specific but that's the size so i don't know other sizes how they would uh, work in this case i mean they would work obviously but you would need to adjust the width definitely here there we go okay so my width is 30 percent alignment center height 100 percent and object fit uh, contain and that's it nothing else as you can see uh, in styles. All right, now we are at the advanced tab. So here you have to set the logo to be fixed and just set the vertical orientation to be 5%. And also don't forget to give your logo a class. Can be anything, can, you can name it logo if you want, you can name it whatever you want. And yes, I'm trying to do something else here. That's why I commented out this uh, text. Everything will be cleaned up. Oh, code, not text. Uh, will be cleaned up for you, so you don't uh, don't worry about that. All right, now let's go to our HTML, and this is where I have all my code. All right, so the code that is pertinent to this effect is only the top one. So let me just comment this out. All right, looks better and cleaner. So it's basically not that much. This is where you are going to set the class for your logo. So if you named it, uh, I don't know, cat, <laughs> you add cat here, right? So let's go to the logo, go to advanced and the class, 
here could be cat. So take cat and put it in here. Sorry that I'm explaining a little bit more uh, beginner level because I've had questions that made me think that maybe some people are a little bit more beginner than others on this channel. So sorry. All right. Now let's look a little bit at the scale because this goes hand in hand with the width of your, um, sorry, of your logo. So you will have to adjust it here and you will have to adjust it here. Again, it depends very much on the font that you are using for your logo. So let me ju just go and publish this. All right. So let's focus on the, on this property. So this, uh, is basically the position of your logo once somebody lands on your website. So in this case, it's 40 VH, which is almost at the center of the page. If I said 50, it would be even lower. As you can see, this is how it looks, right? So let's go back and let's adjust it. Let's say 50. Let's update. And as you can see, it's lower. But in my case, I don't want the G to be cut like this. And uh, you will see, you see this um, on the desktop. All right, so let's go and have a look. Okay, so I could change to 45 where everything looks good. This to uh, reach the top and there's also some space here under the G. So this is what I mean. You will definitely have to work these values hand in hand to see what fits best all right so i will leave that like that all right so let's have a look and this is how it looks and you are also kind of having a preview of how the website is coming along of course i'm trying a lot of things so don't worry that uh, this looks a little bit weird Okay, so I forgot to mention, as you can see here in the code, you have this option or property that you need to mention somewhere on the website. So in order for the logo to get triggered, you need to set this class or whatever class you want, set it on the container just below the container or where the logo is sitting in. So this is the logo and this is where the this is the container that it's sitting in right and then we have the next container which is holding all the whatever elements i ha i have in there so i have set the uh, class of content on this one all right so this is what happens so the logo shrinks, just one second. So the logo shrinks once uh, our trigger content section starts scrolling, right? So that is pretty important. All right, so I guess that's it. I hope that you find this helpful and I, for one, I love it. All right. So in terms of mobile, I am yet to experiment with this, but I wouldn't worry. I think it's going to work great. If you'd like to see what else you can build with Elementor, watch this playlist here or here. And if you have gotten any value out of this video, please consider subscribing, liking and sharing this video. And I'll see you next time. Bye.